I'm Damon. I'm Ken. And we're the Beachside Bros. We have had some terrible weather the last couple days in Jacksonville. It's been cold, it's been rainy, so it's time for some comfort food. And with that, what do we have today, Ken? Bacon wrap meatloaf, Dame. Like I said, we've had some terrible weather. It's been cold, it's been rainy. We've got some comfort food, we've got the meatloaf. Today we've got some football, we've got the Jaguars and the Bills, uh, so we've... Uh, cold beers. we got cold beers, and yeah, let's just get to it. There's really nothing else to add. Uh, we've got some football, some beers, some comfort food. Let's rock and roll. So today we're having, uh, along with the bacon wrap meatloaf, we're actually doing, uh, we're going to smoke it on the smoker. Really quick smoke, really quick cook. It's only about uh, an hour or so, it just has to get to 155. We're also doing some roasted veg. Uh, I've got zucchini, squash, uh, a little creamer potatoes, uh, put some poblanos in there along with some sweet potatoes. We're going to marinate that just a little bit or douse it in some olive oil and balsamic, and then we're getting to it. So, yeah. Dame, you ready? Yeah, we've got the smoker going. We've got kickoff going in about 15 minutes. We've got the Jags going. I think, I hope we upset the Bills today. What do you think, Ken? <laughs> no. Yeah. All right. Ken's actually letting me do something again. I'm going to be mixing some uh, an ounce or so of olive oil. A shot or two balsamic vinaigrette, uh, some smoked uh, crushed pepper, and we have a little mixture here, a teaspoon or so of crushed red pepper and oregano. Ken wants me to use this, uh, this measuring cup here. We're the beachside bros. I don't even know what he's talking about here. We're not using that. We're gonna put about an ounce or so directly in here. And again, I'm just gonna eyeball it. I don't know. What do you think, Ken? How's that look? Looks good, Dave. Not too much. <laughs> And then we're just put a shot or two of balsamic. You don't want to put oh, too much in, <laughs> but we did that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna even it out with a little bit more olive oil. And then we're gonna put uh, put the crushed red pepper in. <laughs> That's why I wanted you to put it in the cup. What? Didn't you want me to put it all in there? No. Why'd you give it all to me? I was you're supposed to pinch it, and I told you a pinch. Oh, you told me a pinch? Yeah. All right. Well, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> and we're gonna put the rest in there. I didn't hear the pinch part. We're gonna make it's pepper. It's fine. It's pepper. There's a lot of vegetables here, Ken. There's a lot. Ken worries too much, guys. Ken worries. Too. I think I actually need some more olive oil on this one. Ken was storming off set right there. It's it's pretty dry actually. I think we need some more olive oil. I wonder why it's dry, Dame. <laughs> There's a lot of pepper in there. No, we have, this is, guys, this is seriously a couple pounds of vegetables, um, an ounce of olive oil that we talked about. I think originally it wasn't gonna work, but now look at it, it's mixing pretty nice. It's gonna be good, guys. It's gonna be good. You just kind of go with the flow. Ken, take a breath, grab a beer. It's gonna be fine. Everything's okay. <laughs> I don't listen to instructions too well. <laughs> yeah, much is obvious. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get these going. We're gonna put these on the tray here, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay, okay. So we're gonna do the uh, the peppered veggies. <laughs> um, <laughs> not a pinch. So we're gonna, we're gonna put these in a roasting pan. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of pepper on there. There's a lot of pepper on there, Dame. It's gonna be good though. It's good. <laughs> Fortunately, we don't have to share, <laughs> but we'll tell you it's good. Hopefully, it'll turn out. Sometimes these uh, these honest mistakes work out. So we're gonna get these guys um, in this pan. We've got a 450 degree oven going, and then uh, what I'm gonna do too is I've got a little bit of. Uh, garlic, we love garlic around here. We've got this roasted garlic. We just want to make sure these are spread out as much as they can be. So everything roasts. And then I'm going to hit this garlic with a little bit of olive oil. We don't need any more pepper. With, and even if I did... <laughs> so we're going to roast, put a little bit of olive oil in here. Get this guy in a 450 degree oven. And next up, we are, or 400 degree oven, and next up, we're gonna get the meatloaf going. Uh, bison, and uh, Wagyu beef, and some ground pork. Uh, not any pepper. Smile. <laughs> I'm smiling. So we're getting ready to form up our meatloaf now. Uh, we've got a pound of ground pork, 
uh, we've got a, a pound of ground bison and then we've got a pound of American Wagyu. So um, we're going to get ready to mix this guys up, this guy up. We don't want to like crush it all together. You want to have some pockets in there, but do it as gently as you can. Obviously you got to mix it. The other thing is we're not using an egg. We're, um, we're actually, this Wagyu actually has just a, a ton of fat in it. So we can actually, um, you know, hopefully get away with not using an egg. Uh, again, ch green chilies, panko, cumin, and what's left of the smoked pepper. Again, you want me to mix that up for you, man? I mean, not, I can do it. That's, that's, that's a hard no, Dave. We're, we're good. You had too much pepper one time, and this is what happens. I've had too much pasta one time. Uh, it came out like a brain. All right, so let's go ahead and get this guy together. Damon, you... <laughs> dying here. <laughs> Going slow, trying to get our chili. Again, these chilies are actually going to add uh, some moisture in here as well. And we're going to eyeball this panko. Because you don't want too much. You don't want it to be bready. I guess I can go ahead and add that. <laughs> Dame. You should probably add some more pepper. <laughs> I think I'm good. And now I'm, I'm going to add here. This is about, uh, it's going to give us some smoky flavor. Uh, this is about a, uh, I'd say about a teaspoon of, is that good? You can see it. Uh, about a teaspoon of cumin. And those are going to be our spices. And got the hands. Manos in Spanish. Manos. Manos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're going to get these guys mixed up. Again, this Wagyu has tons of fat in it. All right. So this, again, we're not going to overwork this. So let's go ahead and start thinking about what we're going to do with that uh, blue loaf pan. So we almost just had a Damon moment, but Thank God we were practicing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get our uh, meatloaf formed into our, our pan here. And again, we're not going to work it too much. We just want to get it in here. I usually try to start on these corners. Let me get my hand out of the way because those are what's going to be in here. And again, we're, you can do it as a football. A lot of people, you'll see them on TV. They just do them. Uh, they just kind of form it up in the shape of a football. But because we're doing this, um, this bacon weave on top of it, uh, I want to make sure that uh, it's kind of squared off so it covers everything. And again, all you're doing in here, you want to make sure that, you, again, you don't overwork it because you need some room for the, the juices to run. So we're doing that. And again, it kind of almost takes on the football-y kind of shape anyway. We've got these chilies in here. We've got the panko. The chilies are what's going to give us our moisture, keep it from drying out. And you can see it kind of forms up and that's that Wagyu, all right? So that's that fat that's in here and that's what's going to keep it from drying out along with the chilies. Get that last little bit out of there. Let's get this guy out of the way. All right. And it was right here, but now we know that this guy goes like that. And then we can actually just get our hands under it, form him up like that. And we'd be putting, hopefully, putting on our Colby Jack cheese. So let's flip this guy out of here and see what we got. Looks good. <laughs> Dan, you want to help with this piece? Am I allowed to? No, not at all. So we're at our last phase of doing our, <laughs> our bacon. Dame is going to observe how to put the, as you saw when we did the, the meatloaf, it went pretty flawlessly. I'm not allowed to touch anything anymore. No, unfortunately not. It's, it's like your kids. We can't have nice things Kid anymore. Kid we like nice things and we want to keep them. So uh, we're gonna, what we're going to do here is we have our bacon weave. And I am literally just going to flip this guy. Hopefully he works. Should have let me do it, Ken. 
this is a one and done kind of thing, Dame. Um, so. That looks good. There we go. Beautiful. So, got this a little. Smells really good. So we're gonna just gonna tuck these sides in. Um, and again, I'm not sure if you saw on the, uh, got a little extra bacon. There's no such, no bad thing. Oh, maybe I can trim that up a little bit. Think I should trim that up, Dave, or just go for it? Just go for it, man. There's no such thing as too much bacon, guys. I agree. There needs to be some nice crispy edges yeah. on here. And we're going to smoke this guy. We're going to take him out to the smoker here in just a second. I had some toothpicks in case I needed to fold it in, but it looks like it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And I perforated this tin foil, this aluminum foil in here, so every it should get smoke underneath drip down so it's not sitting in its own fat uh, and be nice and ready to go in about an hour or so. We've got to get it to an internal temperature of 155. What, uh, what temperature do you have the smoker at, Ken? Well, let's take a look, Dave. Oh, looks like it's coming down. We're at 265, which is not bad, but we'll probably open that vent, top vent up. I'd kind of shut it, uh, but let's go ahead and get it down there and get it on there. What kind of, real quick, what kind of wood do you got smoking? Uh, I got lump charcoal and I got a big chunk of hickory in there. It smelled great last time I was out there. Now let's get smoking. Let's get going. See you downstairs. See you downstairs. All right, so. Okay, we're live. Bring it pause. All right, we're outside. The sun has come out. The Jaguars are only losing by a field goal to the Bills. It's lovely weather. We're a block from the beach. We've got this awesome meatloaf that Ken has prepared. And uh, we're going to throw it on. Go slow. Yeah. Like wires there. Yeah, yep. The temperature is about 283. It's a little hot, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. Just going to throw it on. All right. Again, we're looking for an internal temperature of uh, 155. Mm -hmm. And it should be pretty quick. It's going to be a quick cook. Uh, I'm thinking probably not much more than an hour. It's a little windy today, so the temperature is going to fluctuate on this. So around an hour, like Ken said, yeah. we've got some hickory, we've got some lump charcoal, and we're just going to watch this and uh, hang out, watch some football, yeah. get ready to chow down on this. Yeah, literally when we came out, it was 265. We mm -hmm. got out of here, it already bumped back up to 280. Mm -hmm. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, as long as we don't get much over 300, we should be good. Mm -hmm. See you guys in an hour. All right, so we're getting ready to cut. This guy has been resting now for about 10 minutes. Probably still a little too warm, but we got to get going here. People got to live. There's football to watch. Dog is licking my leg. And uh, Damon has got to get home to celebrate uh, the Jaguars winning today, which I did not think was going to happen. So I'm going to cut a couple pieces. Bacon is nice and crispy. And let me tell you, it's hot, which is why I probably should have had a, a glove on, but I don't, so we're just going to go with it. All right. So, fingers licking. Thank God it's not a restaurant. People are going to give me hell about it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my tongs. And let's take this center cut here. Am I allowed to come in the camera now? You can come in the camera. Look at that. Mm. Nice and juicy. Got some pepper. Mm. Pepper uh, veg. Looks good. Fingers crossed. This tastes good. I mean, I crossed my fingers hoping the Jaguars would win today. I was hopeful. Ken wasn't so much. Nine to six. Go Jags. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of that garlic on there for you, Dave. Perfect. Garlic popped out nice and then it looks good we have the uh ketchup sauce with the cumin and mm -hmm. the uh let me take my glasses off and yes i need my glasses uh we got cumin uh chipotle uh ketchup a little worcestershire that looks good it's all you really bud good. all right i get the first take you or? get the first take all right well where do i even start i want some bacon yeah, start with the uh, awesome bacon, bacon and the meat. Save the pepper, bad. pepper veg for last. They, they're not actually, believe it or not, they're not bad. There is a lot of pepper. Would on have been there. better with a pinch, not a couple <laughs> tablespoons, but it's still edible. Yeah, the ones that don't have the the mm. uh, baseball size tobacco <laughs> draws on them, they're very good. 
The other ones, not so much. <laughs> this is this is unbelievable, Ken. It's nice and moist. It's not grandma's meatloaf. It's nice and moist. You can taste the green chilies in there. Um, the bacon, it's almost like a pork rind. It's delicious. It's got the, the, the sauce, the, the ketchup over the top of it. You can taste the cheese. It's pretty, it's pretty damn good, man. Yeah. It's not meatloaf without a little bit of ketchup mm. on it. You just got to, you know, jazz it up. I feel like I got stuff in my teeth. Um, anyway, Beachside Bros, like. Like it. Beachside Bros, go Jags. Like us, subscribe, ring the bell, get more of these great, uh, these great recipes, mess ups of me, putting uh, tons of pepper and stuff. And uh, yeah, we just have a good time, watch some football. Cheers, y'all. Leave some comments and ask us how the pepper, how hot the pepper really is. <laughs> we'll tell you if you email us. <laughs> Recipe minus the pepper in the bottom in the description. Thank you guys for watching.